so welcome guys today i have a new tutorial and this time i'm actually gonna be talking a little bit about easy drama 3 that was released yesterday may 3rd and actually i was eligible for free upgrade since i purchased easy drums easy drama 2 about less than a month ago and the reason why i actually got it I wanted to get a better reggae drums from my reggae music and my reggae beats so I actually got Easy Drama 2 which actually with the Easy X expansion for reggae but apart from that I'm here with the new Easy Drama 3 and you can see I'm not so much um about the song yet which the songs are really nice if you listen to the kick snare the toms and what's not the symbols the percussion and what's not but i'm just to, to, to say that they have changed a lot about easy drama where there is so much more involved in it now you can see there's grooves you can get you have all these different grooves for different genres of music that are already there blues disco electronic funk fusion hip-hop jazz latin reggae soul which is cool and I guess you have a, a different play styles here you could have beat swing fills ending percussion it's really interesting um let me just play a short clip Wait, let me get rid of this cut that if you see here, this is playing a uh, uh, pop rock country. Let me go down to some reggae. And I'm not listening on headphones, so I'm really not monitoring the song <coughs> right now. But I'm just playing this so you can hear it. Um, apart from that, you can see, I guess with the drums, you have different drum set up for different rooms I have a bright room main room um, and so and so actually then apart from the groove you have a grid editor so it's actually it seems like when they're moving towards a DAW style where you have um, you different drum songs and you could put them all on the grid by themselves which is really cool you know so you, instead of making you could make your drum beats let's say I'm using Reason or Logic or anyone I could launch Easy Drummer 3 as a, a VST and create all my drums in there and use it but not only created a way I could actually build my beats with the actual pieces of the drums separate which is really cool so it's moving towards definitely a DAW and that is a really good thing because it's so much you can do here you can see over here you got your files normally how you would set up um, any DAW your different editing stuff your tracks new song track duplicate duplicate current song track empty block this is never heard of that it's cool import midi file and your different settings uh, one of the cool things that i've noticed and i'm gonna go back to where it was before is that if you have let's say um controllers 
there's all these controllers here that you could hook up to your easy drummer software that has everything pre-mapped so if you're using yamaha simmons like the kits the actual kits that drum kits electronic kits that you could use for triggering the songs which is really cool and in my situation i use the keyboard to play in my parts but um i'm gonna show you some more of that so let me go to my settings audio midi settings and you would see if i click here which is my keyboard is the cog x50 now i can actually play the songs from my pad but you could also hook your drum controller right into your DAW via um, USB MIDI and you're up and running then you have the mixer which is more basically intuitive than the last mixer we had you have all your drum parts here and which is as cool you could and this is all your output routing if you want to roll them back into your DAW um, individually you have that and you can control your bleed which we knew about that um, if anyone is familiar with easy drummer software which I'm new to it because I only had it basically about a month and I haven't really used it a lot yet I've done a couple reggae tracks and it's off the top but you have to actually purchase the the reggae extension but besides that the actual drums in here i can use these drums also for reggae any other genre of music whether it be rock country so i'm not too worried about that one of the cool features though is this here that says bandmate um with this here I can actually bring audio and MIDI from my DAW into Easy Drummer and have it play and then Easy Drummer would target that piece of music that I import with drums that would complement it. I haven't tried it out yet. I've looked at the video that Easy Drummer put out and it's really cool. Then I see this um these hair keys are uh, it seems to me now like let's see what this says okay <clears throat> so I guess you can bring in let's see my documents uh, So I guess I can bring in, let's say, vocal files. Uh, I don't know if I have any vocals. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. So yeah, you can bring in your vocals or any instrument in there which is cool as you can see now I have a uh, something in here I'm not gonna play because I'm not monitoring so I'm not really no I know it's a it's a dance all phrase but I'm not too thing about it I want to figure out if let's see I wonder Start and stop recording MIDI. So I haven't seen any way where you could actually record audio directly into Easy Drummer, but you can import it. And I guess you can do a lot after you import it. Let's see, remove. Oh, it comes in as a block. So 
So let's see other what other is about. Open. This is another um file. So you can play and stop it. I wonder if I could play it from down here. No, well, it doesn't play down here, but let's see. Let me get rid of this. Remove block. Um, go down here and let's see. Track. New song track. So I have a new track. I'm recording but let's see if I can go into my settings general settings now shortcuts metronome save advance let's see okay um what I was looking for is the track on my settings my audio and MIDI settings is there any way output channel active MIDI inputs so I guess there's no way you could actually record audio into it but you can you can record audio I guess outside and bring it in which um you could always do that in your DAW or or what's not I wish there was a way you could actually probably record actual tracks in it but then again the mixer doesn't show you a full mixer more than Let's see. Multi channel, stereo. Okay. So, but going back to the drums, the drums are really nice and the grooves. I haven't played with the grooves. There's tons of grooves in here, as you can see. For different um and these are all right now i'm just looking at reggae reggae grooves so i'll play a little piece of this one with hi-hats just hi-hats tom grooves so you can see there's a lot and this is only the reggae genre I'm looking at so I'm not even looking at Latin here's probably a Latin standard fields but they have expanded on the software quite a bit and I'm gonna dive in and see as much as they can and I'm not even just touching the surface cause there's a lot of stuff you could do here tap to find but I haven't gone into any of it. It's just new. I got the file actually last night. So I'm just opening it up now and seeing what's there. So guys, if you like this video, um, who may be interested in Easy Drama 3, there's so much that you can do with it. Um, hit me up and let me know. I'm going to start putting out some tracks with easy drummer drums on it so look out for that this was just an introduction to the software and i haven't really touched the surface of what this thing can do yet but it's so much for now i'll be back with some reggae music that is done in easy drummer tree so stay posted man peace out